In this tutorial, I will show you where you can download my free macros for DaVinci Resolve. In this case, I will show this for the counter macro and I will show how to use it in DaVinci Resolve. You can either click the link in the video description or go to my profile page and click this buy me a coffee link. Then I'll look at the top and move over to the shop page. Here you can select the macro you want to download. In this case, let's download the counter macro and you can add a price you want to pay to support this channel. Everybody who pays something will get mentioned in a future video. Of course, you can also leave it free and pay zero dollars. Then click this get this button and add a name. You don't have to sign up. It's just a name which will get displayed and add an email address. And then you can click the pay button. If you haven't entered a price, it will be free. You can then open up DaVinci Resolve and open up a fusion composition. And then from your Explorer, drag the dot setting file into your fusion composition. And here it is. This is the counter macro, which is a new node now. And let's see what we can do with it. So there's a start value. This is the number which we start counting on. For example, let's change this to 10. And then we will start at 10. And this is the end value. But before we change it, let's reduce the decimal places, which are the numbers after the point. I will change it to 2. And let's change the end value to 1 million. If you go to the end, you can see the value is at 1 million. Now we have some options to change the prefix and the postfix. For example, if you want a dollar sign or subscribers and you can also place it behind it uh, when you use the postfix box. This will stay while the counter goes up. Let's leave it at a dollar sign. You can also do both at the same time, for example, like this. But then here are some options to move the counter around or to rotate it. If you want to do some crazy stuff. Let's reset it again and put it into the middle. Then we can change the font type. Let's use Monsara black can increase the size and the tracking which is the distance between each character and we can change the anchor the v anchor is not that important it's just where it is on a vertical level but the h anchor is pretty important because you can see the width of the text changes and if you want to stay it at the front you can just click this left button move it back into the middle and now the width only changes at the back and if we have a postfix and not a prefix I would recommend you to do this for the end and now the subtext stays the same and then we can also change some things about the text style for example make it only an outline or change the color and we can also change the opacity maybe you want to animate it yeah yeah and a small trick if you want to add a soft glow just go here type in soft glow and place it behind our counter and now it's glowing. 
So that's it. Feel free to download this macro and I will see you in the next one.